Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain how to capture the sound output from my PC, but not using a microphone and the speakers. There's a way to capture the, the, any sound that gets sent to the speakers, but not through a microphone listening to that output. And the way to do that is using Audacity. And they have this audio host. You set the audio host up here. And if you use the Windows WAS -A API, Windows audio session API. Use that as the audio host, then as the recording device, I'm using my my uh, DAC. This is the name of my uh, digital to analog converter, the Shitmodi DAC. I'm using that as the recording device, so anything that gets sent through that will be recorded. I want to record both channels, so I want stereo. And then the playback device is again my DAC, and that's kind of why it's a loopback. Um, so what, what we do here is we're going to start Audacity to record, but you'll notice nothing's being recorded. I'm speaking in the microphone, obviously, now, um, and it's not being picked up by Audacity. That is what we want. Um, nothing is being sent through the speakers right now, and that's why Audacity isn't, isn't recording anything, even though we're in, a recording, we're in the middle of a recording session, as you can see in the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to play a little bit of a song. The first part of Alive Again by Chicago, and it should be picked up by Audacity to record it. There we go. Okay, so I'm talking over it, although we know that the speakers aren't picking it up. Okay, so that was about 14 seconds, and then Audacity recognizes that no more output is sending, so it sort of pauses. It's still in recording, so let's stop the recording. We could also now preview the sound in Audacity. But you can barely hear that. That's okay though, because we're going to fix that in WavePad. So first, I have to do first thing I have to do is I have to export this. So I'm going to ex export it as a WAV file. Um, I've already navigated to where I want to save it, and this is this is the directory. And we're going to call this "Alive Again Start," the beginning part of the "Alive Again" song. Okay, so we're going to export that as a WAV file. I don't care about metadata, metadata tags on this file uh, for this. And then I'm gonna, we're done with Audacity. I can close Audacity. We don't need to save the project. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, all right, here's the file that we just created. It's the WAV file that we exported. The way I edit these is in WavePad, NCHS, NCH WavePad. It's a great program for editing WAV files, or, or not just WAV files, but all audio files. Okay, so that's the waveform. And just by looking at the waveform, we could tell that it doesn't look like the output is very high. These, these, these peaks are pretty small. But let's take a listen. Yeah, you can barely hear it, which is what I expected. But we can fix it. Okay, so I can go to levels. I, I normally do normalize. I, I normalize on the peak loudness RMS. Uh, I've experimented with all of these things. I tend to like the, the results that I get from um, doing peak loudness RMS. Um, and I'm going to use something between 10 and 20%. I'm going to use 17 in this case. The waveform dramatically changes, which now this is indicating to me that the output's probably going to be a lot louder. Um, so let's take a listen. Go to the beginning. This red line is where the playback cursor is. Ah, clearly louder. This is the peak here. This is the loudest part. Okay, that's good. That's a good level. And one other thing that we can do here, um, well, there's a lot of things we can do with this, but here I can zoom in to the very end and let's trim this. So I can select that and I can do select to end. I can delete that. We can go to the beginning. I could select, oh, I don't know, before the music really started, it was about right there. Let's select to start, trim that, delete key. Okay, we could look at the entire waveform. There we go. Um, I could do fade in one second. These are in milliseconds. Let's, let's fade in for the first second. We'll do a linear fade in. You'll see that the waveform will change to a fade in. Um, we could do the same thing. Well, let's not select anything. And then we'll do the same thing with fading out. 100, 1,000 milliseconds, that's one second. Do the same thing, we'll do a linear, and then the waveform changes. So let's listen to how it fades in and out. Okay, that fades in, 
Very good. Now let's listen to the fade out. Okay, perfect. And then we'll just save it. Um, I'll leave all these defaults. We'll save. Because it's already a, a, a audio file, it's just going to copy it directly onto, onto itself. Um, and that's it. That's the way to do it.